Hey, what's happening, everybody? Uh, I think I got some bad news. So I'm driving in the Jeep. I was at a red light, and I'm waiting for the light, and I'm starting to hear this ticking noise. It just happened a little while ago, probably like two, three minutes ago. I'm driving, so I can't stop. I'm in a, like one of those small highways or small road. Um, I'm heading into my community and I'm going to park the car in my driveway. I'm gonna open the trunk and hear it. I'm trying to look for where that noise is coming from, but it's kind of like a ticking noise, like a bearing or a pulley or something like that. I don't know. Hopefully it's nothing severe, it sucks. I, I don't even have the car for a month and I'm already hearing something. Um, it's a... Uh, in five days, it'll complete a month having this vehicle. Um, the car still drives great, not a problem, but I just hear that ticking noise. I'm gonna do some research, but the first things first, I wanna open up the hood and take a look inside to see what's happening and then do some research. Hopefully it's nothing severe or something that I can easily replace. All right, I'll keep you posted. Take your finger right under the P, press that way, and then lift. Okay, once you pop the hood, make sure your engine is cool. If you have a flashlight, if you're working in an area that's dark, got a flashlight so you can work on know what you're removing. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that belt tensioner just because as you saw in my last clip, it was shaking and rattling. I do hear it when I'm driving. Make sure you take a photo of how the belt is lined up so when you remove your belt tensioner, you can know exactly how to put back the belt. You also want, at this point, you do want to examine the belt to make sure that that is not also the uh, cause of the rattling and shaking of the pulleys. So now that I know how it's located, now I can go ahead and loosen the belt tensioner right here and then apply pressure towards the left. Once you do so, you're able to loosen this. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove that bolt here. Okay, there we go. So this is the old one. I already compared it. I'm gonna place it over here. And this is the new one. So now let me go ahead and put that bad boy inside. Now, I just wanted to give a better angle because the way the camera was positioned, you couldn't really tell or you couldn't really see the full belt line. But here it is. I'm going to start tightening that bolt. Again, it's a 17 millimeter socket that you're going to need. You want to make sure as you're tightening it, this is on the center. As the belt's going under this pulley is also on that center. So you just want to look around and make sure everything looks correct. All right, so let me go ahead and slowly start tightening up that bolt. 
All right, so once you have that well tightened, hand tightened, again, you're gonna take this, air, you're gonna take this tool, and you're gonna go ahead and push back again. When you push towards the left, this is gonna give you enough space to put back the belt line we're supposed to, as mine, this area right here needs to be on top in the center. It's under, so now when I push this back, I'm gonna take my other hand, my right hand, and put this on the, on the top side. All right, there you go. Just make sure that once everything is loose, uh, everything looks good to you, and the belt is where exactly where it needs to be, then you're gonna go ahead and tighten that. If you didn't do so, go ahead and tighten it, hand tighten it, and make sure it's not loose. And then take a test drive and see if you hear that same noise again. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and open up the garage door, turn on the car, and see if I hear that noise again. Well, there you go. No more noise. No more tick 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 tick